hi this is Shadi so today I have a short video for you it's about kendo and it's an art that I truly admire and I truly appreciate I do believe it can really transfer beautifully into self-defense in many ways uh, directly and indirectly so when it comes to reflex and also when it comes to really letting it out the way they scream and that can really transfer into someone who can just really transform their energy into the situation and just really not fear what is happening to them and I do believe it builds a lot of character so we're gonna see here this demonstration done in Korea so you can see they're wearing these fluffy jackets to obviously protect them so this first scenario that they're demonstrating first guy is holding the shinai so a lot of guys just hold bats and uh, broomsticks whatever they can find and they can do a lot of damage so it's not a surprise so here he dodges the attack goes to the side and then throws with what it's in judo called uki otoshi so one criticism i have about this uh, demonstration is that uki otoshi is one of the hardest throws you can ever do so the way that he just grabbed and threw it to me it's it's unrealistic now i know it's a demonstration but still you would have to add something that is easily doable especially for those who rarely th uh, practice throwing so uh, here you can see it turns into like a duel and then from there strikes the head and then strikes the side these are candle strikes so it turns into a candle fight basically from there but um, it's nice to see open hand against someone with a shinai or a stick basically or a club so uh, here you see he strikes the throat and again he engages he keeps distance uh, pushing and obviously defends himself against someone with a stick so if a fight goes and you know both guys are holding a stick or they found something on the ground and the one of them practices kendo you know who is it gonna go for so there's a lot of stuff that can be used as a weapon like here you see the umbrella and it is not uh, something that is out of reach i believe in shogo's podcast it was discussed that in japan one kid who trained kendo uh, he was fending off bullies and from there he struck one of the bullies in the wrist which is a kendo strike a way to score ippon and all the bullies scattered because of that kid who struck with his umbrella so something like an umbrella or a walker or a broom any context you happen to be in it's all gonna be very helpful if you do practice something like kendo or fencing uh, also again how they train their reflexes sometimes they attack like thunder and i do believe all these can carry into self-defense so someone trying to swing at you or just slap you and with your reflexes that are built in kendo or through kendo they can help uh, immensely and uh, i do believe that kendo has a lot of things to transfer into self-defense i know it's a spiritual practice for the mind and the body and the spirit but it still has martial benefits in my opinion and self-defense benefits so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon this was shady thank you for listening